Okay. Aquaponics. It's my floating raft bank. I'm going to cut net pots into all my drains. That way I can use this empty space all along the drain. So no pumping motion is wasted. You're loving it so far. This is on a constant flood. So if you look down here, you always got that amount of water in. So far, the plants love it. But if I need to, I can just put a cap in here, or a plug, and that'll start it siphoning. You can see it's already kind of burping. That thing will start siphoning. But I decided not to go with an auto siphon, because the sump would just have to be too large. I didn't want to deal with it. Can you see? Coming down here. Plants can't really tell the difference. For now. But if I notice any channeling, I'll start them on siphoning. There's my sump, it's just 30 gallons. If you look down close, you can see there's bio balls in there. And when the water level gets below the bio balls, I know it's time to add water. It's about four gallons a day for all this so far. And we got. Ooh, that one's not doing so good. Got some tilapia. I'm having issues with them dying. Haven't quite figured out why. Have a feeling it's the temperature. Because I'm only able to get the water to about 78 and it drops pretty substantially overnight. The there's bok choy, broccoli, more bok choy. These I'll probably need to string up, that's corn. They'll probably end up falling over. All this put together was about two grand. With my biggest expense is this hydro clay, about 600 bucks. You see, got my swirl filter. I decided to go with a 30 gallon because that's what I had. Hindsight, I might have gone with a 55 gallon. So I see a little bit of pass through. Anyway, this is kind of built on the spirit of the Indy 23 from Murray Hallam. The big difference being this is constant flood and that allows me to have a much smaller sump and these drains I'm double purposing the drains this is all fed off of 3200 liter per hour uh, pump down in that sump and it works out to be about thirty dollars a month in energy costs pump cost me about 120 bucks I do have an air pump in here with air stones in four of the beds. I was going to have them in the fish tank, but I figured, eh, what the hell. And I got two 300 watt heaters. You see in here, 300 watt tank heaters. 
Each of them is supposed to be good for about 250 gallons of water. I've noticed the, the plants that I bought from Home Depot didn't do so good. But the plants that I planted from a seed, like these are from a seed here. Look at them. It's ridiculous. Got carrots here. We'll see how they do. They're loving life so far. Yeah, see these another from a store, another store. And they just got shocked, but they're starting to come back. And you got beans from a seed. Some sort of bush bean. Cucumber from a seed. It's beautiful. All these uh, beefsteak tomatoes, seed. Got cherry tomatoes from seed. And basil, just one of those prepackaged ones that the wife bought at the store. I just tossed them in. And I've been growing off of this, just picking off the seeds whenever it starts to go to flower. That's been growing in here for probably three weeks. The strawberries, I thought they would be the easiest to grow. They turned out to be the hardest. Iron deficiency, which I've added, chelated iron. Bugs are starting to get after them. And they just... I mean, they could turn around. They're actually starting to turn around, but so far they're, they turned out pretty much the worst. This I'm just, any, any plant that I'm pulling out, say I have two, two uh, pretty good plants pulling out of one pot, I'll just pull one, and if it can grow, I'll let it grow. Most of them die. Like that one, I can just, I mean, it's dead. But some of them, you see, start coming back. Start coming back. I figure... Might as well not waste the seed, especially when the little plant's starting to already grow. And there's little chives. Probably should have added. I don't. I don't know if I figured out the rock wool just yet. It's thinking cilantro, not doing so well. Basil, not doing so well. Oregano. I thought the oregano died, but it looks like it's coming back pretty good. No real sense in having that much oregano, but... Spinach. De dedicated a whole barrel to spinach. Because you can freeze it, unlike the lettuce. Stays pretty good, cooking it in whatever. Swiss chard. I've never had it, but... Seems to grow grow in here pretty well. Celery. It took a while. But it's starting now. Got a couple of okra. They might be a bit close together. We'll see. And then all of these are bell pepper. And they're doing pretty good. Once again, the corn, it was showing real bad symptoms of iron deficiency here. But as you can see, the new growth, it's actually nice and green and starting to grow pretty big again. Got the broccoli. It got stunted early on. I just didn't have enough nutrients in the system. So while the fish are starting to get a little bigger, I was adding a, an all-natural fish emulsion that was helping. You got bok choy. Pretty sweet. And I'm debating whether or not to pull this out. The other side has honeydew. This is honeydew. It's coming back. And you see there you got iron deficiency and just overall nutrient deficiency. But it, you can see it's coming back with all the new growth. But I got it there. And then I got all this over here because I bought a six pack from Home Depot. 
and yeah, I might just pull it out and do something else. Anyway, you can see manifolds out, it comes down this way, diagonally in here, this is diagonally in here. A pretty simple system. And you only have from from here to there, you got maybe a foot, foot and a half. And the flow is not restricted at all. That's the way you can do that with one pump. I'll do all of these on one pump, which is the only way that you would do it and actually do it financially feasible. See guys throwing pipes all the way up on the roof and, and sure you can make it work, but what's your energy cost? All right, that's pretty much all I gotta say. Oh, the, the greenhouse was bought eBay. It was uh, less than 500 bucks, 13 by 33. It was pretty sweet. All right.